It was sort of the way the company was structured. You know, they had, like so many uh, companies offshore, they, they over time had made product for hundreds of brands, you know. Um, and uh, they could make this, uh, on a, from a quality perspective, they could just do an astonishing job. But their product line previously was sort of copy-oriented, really. And um, you also have a factory mentality that thinks, well, the more you make, you know, the more sales you'll have. So they wanted to really cover the full range of fretted instruments, you know, everything from mandolins to basses to classical guitars. And, uh, and so that's what we did. You know, we, I think I mentioned earlier, you, we um, kind of analyzed the market and looked at all these different segments and thought, why do they sell? And then tried to capture that character and create all these different series. Um, and, and really, too, I've had people say, good Lord, you know, it's this huge project. Well, it, I mean, it was, but because it was a clean slate, once I came up with a design perspective or point of view, I mean, if you look at our headstocks, for example, even when you, when you look at a point, it's two circles coming together. It's all about curve. It's all about lines resolving. It's all about this balance thing. So once I had that, that sort of perspective or that point of view, you'd look at a particular category of guitar and, and it almost, it's, it's almost like you'd watch it come up off the drawing board, you know? And I have to have the, I'm a pencil guy. The tech guys just laugh their fannies off at me. You don't do that by hand, Dave. I gotta, I gotta feel that, <laughs> so.